Hi, I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury handbag addict, Louis Vuitton authenticator and collector, and I also own a consignment store, and you can check out the link below to see what's available. In this video, I'd love to compare two bags that are very popular, and I get asked a lot what's the difference between them. And these are uh, Pala Clutch and an Eva from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> That's the type of handbags that you can wear daily. It's a very um, comfortable and usable uh, crossbodies. However, you can clearly see that they have uh, they are different in terms of size. And uh, if we compare a Pala to Eva, Eva is a little bit larger. Let's see what fits into a Pala. Now I do have a small wallet from Louis Vuitton, which is called Victorine. And it does fit into Pala. Pretty good. Actually, that's not a bag that will fit a full-size wallet because you obviously cannot put it inside. So if you're a lover of smaller wallets, then <clears throat> Pala is a very comfortable crossbody bag. If you're surprised to see the strap, um, you don't see a chain here and you see a strap that cannot be uh, adjusted um, at the rings, right? Uh, that's an employee edition of the Pala clutch. It's a little bit smaller than the regular Pala and the strap is not detachable. And let's move on to Eva. Eva is a little larger. It has a strap inside and it can fit both a small wallet and a larger wallet here. So that's the basic difference between them. And if you ask me, I love small crossbodies. I think they are cute. If I only need to take uh, my car keys and my uh, passport, then I will use a Pala clutch. But overall, if I had to choose between a Pala and the Eva, I would go for Eva just because it has a little more space and you never know how many things you need to uh, take with you today. Um, and in general, I would opt for even a larger bag like Favorite, Favorite MM, probably. If we are only considering small bags, uh, Pala and Eva, then I would, I would probably choose an Eva. I also wanted to share some typical wear and tear for Eva because you have to take that into account. If with a Pala clutch, well, probably, probably, I've seen Pala clutches that have cracks on the size. It doesn't happen with all of them, uh, but uh, I guess you have to take that into account. And with Eva, it's the, uh, there's the same issue, because if you look very close, uh, if you look closer, um, then you will see cracks here, here, on, on, the, on the sides, here and here. You can see the red material coming through. And, um, well, I, I don't think it looks very nice. Uh, this bag is obviously very used. However, I, I don't think there is any way to avoid that because, I, well, whenever I see a very used Eva clutch, then I know for sure that these cracks will happen or they already happened, right? So uh, just take that into account before purchasing any bag and check this this elements on the Eva bag if you want them to be nice and without any cracks. Now, if you're buying a Pala clutch, just also check the top of the bag because it often has uh, cracks. Not often, not often, but uh, sometimes I, I do see uh, cracks on Pala. You need to check out the corners because th there are no cracks, but uh, the corners may have uh, very small tips of canvas and um, well the, the canvas coming off a very small piece of canvas is coming off corners and it may be important for you uh, it won't crack further usually uh, however if it makes the bag real bad then you might not want it if you want me to compare other bags that i have in stock just leave me a request by commenting below thank you so much for watching hope it was useful and see you next week bye Oh, 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 oh.